Welcome guys, um, it's been a long time before we actually um, I actually <laughs> uploaded the video but uh, right now I'm back, I tried to upload the videos thanks for amazing support on my last video if you have not checked my last video go and check it I will link this video in the description uh, so today basically we are updating our BIOS okay um, this is very important because uh, BIOS can cause problems in many cases like uh, sometimes uh, when you put your new CPU into your motherboard it just does not seize it and you are like oh my motherboard is broken no that's not the case right there what you need to do is just um, make sure you have the latest BIOS uh, updates on your PC but but be very very uh, careful okay so if you are not sure if you are not sure what are you doing please don't do this because it's very dangerous if you actually miss and put another firmware there like not the exact version your motherboard needs your motherboard won't be able to um, recover anymore and you just gonna actually damage it uh, forever okay it won't be to won't be able to use your computer anymore so before you do this be 100% sure what are you doing okay so there are right many many ways how you can update your BIOS today we're gonna update it by uh, flash drive uh, because that's what my motherboard can offer for now uh, so maybe your motherboard is more simple and you just need to download the program like for example my laptop which is the Inspiror N5040 has uh, uh, the ability to uh, update it from the Windows itself you just run the program and plug it into the <coughs> power cable and you need to just wait so that's simple not a big deal but uh, what to do if your motherboard like me for example doesn't offer um, those kind of good service okay so basically what we need to do is first to uh, know what our motherboard model is okay and for that there are a couple of ways to know that but I like to use a program called CPUID and there is also a program called IDA64 which you can see both of them are free programs absolutely I can leave links into the description for both of them so let's open CPU ID right now okay so this program can offer us as well information about our CPU but we need to go to main board right here and here we see important information okay first of all we see that our motherboard model which is super super important because we need to type this model into the Google then we see our brand and these two version and date are also very important guys just make sure you actually remember there or just don't close the CPU it okay all right now, now basically we need to go to Google and type our motherboard model in this case it's asus h81mk so let's just type this nothing more go to official website i suggest you download this updates only from official website because every motherboard and when it's old or not has official website and you just go there see bios version and download if available okay don't download the old version so something like that all right then basically right here it just shows our motherboard pictures what it can do and etc we are not interested in this what we need to do is go to support um, and then go to driver and utility right here then we choose a bios and firmware click on it and right here we see our latest possible version which is updated okay so this one is as you can see 2018 in four months and 12 days okay so basically right now if you go to CPU it right here what we see we see that it's it's same exact version but date is old on my uh, 
uh, BIOS, right? It's old BIOS what I have right now. So there is also update available. And you may ask now what what's the difference? You are using your computer normally, right? So there we can see what they updated in this uh, specific update. So we see here that first thing they updated is CPU microcode and the second one is to improve system security and stability so we can click on show all as well and we see different versions right here as you see basically you can look all of them but don't download version is if it's older than you have oh for sure you can download them if you have problems like for example sometimes it happens that if you update your bios it can have unstable things or don't know some kind of weird reasons okay and you need to back up your bios as it was so you remember your bios version and if something goes wrong okay and it's just unstable uh, blah 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 you can roll it back but that won't happen because it's designed exactly for your uh, motherboard so i don't think that it's gonna happen to you and after that we need to uh, click on download uh, and it's simple okay it's just getting downloaded like this okay so once we download this guy right here let's um, drag it to the desktop I already have downloaded it but let's close zip it we don't need that anymore <laughs> okay this is our um, guy right here basically what we need to do is open it up um, and uh, this is the file drag this to desktop and we can deal with this guy right in the zip all right so right now there are we need to install this on our flash drive so for that we get our flash drive plugged in into our pc then we open this up and we, i already have it installed but what you need to do is just simple thing you just need to draw drag and drop this guy into your flash drive and wait before it gets installed and okay so that's it like if you have something on your flash drive what you need to do is just make a folder and um, actually type their update or anything and uh, make sure you actually uh, put this file not zip file this file on your flash drive and again guys make sure you are 100 percent sure what are you doing same exact model okay if not you gonna damage your motherboard forever just trust me all right so right now i'm gonna restart my computer we're gonna go into bios and see how things worked okay guys now we are in bios sorry i couldn't record it with my external software because i don't have one basically we are in BIOS right now and as you can see we can see our um, motherboard models and many other things in here so basically we see our BIOS information the BIOS version right here like we saw in our um, program CPU read <coughs> so basically it's gonna be different to you but it's all the same so we need to find some kind of thing called flash utility right like this and go inside it and right here we see our uh, uh, system information as you see uh, our uh, um, multiple drive which is our flash drive this is our C drive right now what we see as you can see basically so I also put it this file on this one but don't mention it so we go basically to flash drive and this is the file we put it on and basically we just open it up inside the BIOS and right now it's just processing and it says update successfully and system just restarts so right now guys uh, actually this is my monitor problem okay this monitor has a problem because it's very old so don't get into panic basically so if you have the same problem I just turned it off and turned it on and it just picks it uh, completely so basically what is going on right now I just not gonna cut it just gonna show you what's going on basically it just uh, said that you need to go into BIOS and recover your BIOS so again go inside it and just press F10 and just come out of it 
at this stage if your PC is still working this means that you done everything correct okay you just didn't fuck up everything didn't burn anything and this is cool okay so right now just give it time okay just don't panic just stay stable and just wait okay right now it's windows is launching so basically right now I'm gonna cut it and see if the windows will be turned on So as you can see guys, Windows is on and everything working perfectly. So please leave a like, subscribe and if you still can't operate your BIOS I can help you, just leave a comment and uh, I will try to help you again and again. Thanks for your amazing support for my video and see you soon guys, bye.